Hello everybody and welcome to DocuSnap. My name is Stefan and I want to show you today how to install DocuSnap. There are just a few prerequisites for the installation of DocuSnap. First of all, we need a more or less current operating system like Windows 7 or 8 or better newer, the installation file of course, and the activation key you received from us via email. That's it, so let's start. I double click the installation file and the installation wizard opens. I accept the license agreement and go on. In the next step, I can enter an installation path. That's okay for me. And now I can choose between a Microsoft SQL Server and a local database. I decide for the SQL Server since it delivers advanced functionality such as DocuSnap discovery services or multi-user support. Next, I decide to install the NPCAP driver too. That is necessary for the advanced IP scan. So that is possible to also inventory the OS, for example. When I now click on install, the installation will begin. The installation is finished after just a few moments and I choose to directly start DocuSnap. When first starting DocuSnap, the configuration wizard opens automatically. First step is to activate DocuSnap and therefore I enter my license key and click activate. If using a computer that doesn't have an internet connection, it is also possible to perform an offline activation. The activation was successful and I go on. In the next step, I choose to install the DocuSnap server. This is needed to be able to run inventory scans and documentations automatically and recurrently. Furthermore, the DocuSnap server is a prerequisite for the use of DocuSnap discovery services. The next step is the configuration of the database. So I enter here the SQL server and give it a name. I choose the SQL server authentication and use the standard SQL Server administrator user to be sure to have sufficient permissions. In the upcoming pop-up, I confirm that I want to create a new database. A little hint at this point, I highly recommend to select this checkbox because it will install our demo database. Demo database contains a bunch of data and gives you an overview of the different functions of DocuSnap. Furthermore, the demo database is also the basis for the further videos. So I select this and confirm. It only lasts a few minutes until the database is created and connected. In the next step, I configure the system path. In standard, these point to local folders, but for team use, I would highly recommend to change the path to network file shares. To be able to store passwords in DocuSnap, an encryption file is needed. This can be created here. I choose a path, call it our case crypto and save it. By clicking next, the encryption file will be created automatically. The next step is the configuration of the DocuSnap server user settings and I go on. The database configuration is preset with the previously entered data. That's fine. And below here, I select my encryption file. And the next step, I can change my DocuSnap server system path. And like before, I recommend to change it to network shares. Finally, we get a short summary. And by clicking finish, the DocuSnap server will be installed. This will last again a few minutes now. When first starting DocuSnap, the scan wizard opens automatically and you can begin immediately to inventory your IT network. And that's it. The installation of DocuSnap is really that quick and easy. I would be happy to see you again next time when I show you the first steps with DocuSnap. Thanks for watching and bye bye.